Hey guys, so if you're watching this training video, I'm actually going to share something miraculous that's happened so far with our page. Um, our algorithm has spiked in a way where I am no longer asking for seasoning and Facebook is rewarding us by showing our content to more viewers. So if you're a part of Team Alpha Omega or the ACE community, you realize that um, it's very um, natural to get your post seasoned by other people. So it creates a social proof. But what I've been realizing is for the past two weeks, I haven't been asking for seasoning and Facebook has been rewarding us with a better algorithm. And I'm actually going to show you guys what I mean by that. And I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to help you boost your algorithm as well. So I'm going to share my screen right now and show you what I'm talking about. If you've watched my past videos about insights and the importance of insights, I'm actually going to show you again. Um, so you go onto your page, you go to insights, <clears throat> so load. and <clears throat> I actually want you to go to reach your page. <clears throat> Just bear with me guys. So other than our, we, what we're looking for is organic reach. So the organic reach has been a freaking amazing. So I want to show you guys what I've been able to do to achieve that. So as you can tell, the spike in the organic is quite high. And then this is the paid. The darker orange is the paid and the lighter orange is um, the organic. Um, also, this is reactions, co reactions, comments, shares, and more. As you can tell, it's quite high. So I wanted to share with you guys as soon as I got to um you know why this is happening so let's go down to posts so if you're just an, a beginner you might not have this data and that's completely fine but what we want is we want to show why and how we're getting the algorithm that we are if you just started then this might not be applicable for you just yet it just means that you need to build a reach other than the team in order to um, reach more people on Facebook. So, <clears throat> so this one was posted today. Obviously, it's not that much just yet. But things like this one, this one, this one, the reach is always more than five hundred, which is great because even though I'm not, I'm not asking for seasoning anymore. A lot of people are seasoning for me, which means my our content is being shown to more people, and Facebook is liking that. So. As you can tell here, and I also will say this, I haven't boosted anything. I haven't boosted any post or anything like that. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I was able to achieve this. And it kind of happened to me without me realizing because um, Facebook just likes our page so far, which is great, which is what we want. So the first thing that I've been doing is scheduling posts. So I actually don't schedule a post um, more than three days in a row. The reason being is because I get spare of the moment inspirations that I want to speak about, whether it be the people that I've been speaking to or the things that I've been talking about or anything like that. That's what I base my post on. That's what we base our insights on. Um, so <clears throat> as you can tell, it says one scheduled post scheduled for tomorrow at, at 6 a.m. So I find that if I schedule a post before 9 a.m., or after 6 p.m., it gets more reach because people jump on their phones three times per day before they go to work, on their lunch break, or after work. So you don't want to be publishing a post at 10 a.m. You also don't want to be publishing a post before 6 p.m. It just makes sense that more people that are on your page are more online and more interactive during that time. So that's when your scheduling is very, very crucial. So don't go scheduling a post or scheduling a mini chat before those breaks. We want people to see them. That's the, that's the most important part. So <clears throat> ignore that one. So for example, where's the one? I'll show you one that got a lot of interaction. Um, let me just go down to posts and that way it will show, it will show me a lot more better. Okay, so while that's loading, I'll show you guys. Okay, it loaded. Okay, so for example, um, this one. What you focus on, you will feed. 
Let me tell you a story about something that's not quite touched upon within inventory business. What I'm doing here is I've made a head title to bring the person in. When you're telling a story or you're telling a secret, when you tell someone that I need to have a secret, they're, going, they're forced to listen up. Okay? So I go through the weaknesses we had during this business and I, I, I made it, I kind of structured it in a way where um, there's a lot of, like not too much emojis, but there's enough emojis to kind of break the post down. You want to make sure that your posts are not just slabs of information. As you can tell, it's very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. As you can tell, I don't, more than two lines, I, don't, I space it out really well. So make sure you're spacing out your posts really well. Photo is always edited. If you, if you um, want to edit a photo, um, Instagram has a, like a built-in one. There's a really good one called Snapseed um, or any kind of editing software that you can have on your phone that you can edit on the go really quick. It doesn't take me long at all. It actually takes me about a minute or so to um, just pull everything together. So it just goes to show this photo is very colorful, very inviting, very um, aesthetically pleasing. When you're posting your post, when you want your post to be posted, you want to be able to bring some color. Your page needs to be colorful. If your page, your content is too bland, people are going to get bored. It's like making a live it's like doing a live every single day for the for the month. People are going to get bored. So how you make sure you um, bring more interaction onto your page, you do different levels of content. Photos, you do videos, you do audios, you, do, you can start a poll on your um, page. You can do basically anything. You can do anything on your page. And the best part of it is Facebook has um, introduced something called a watch party. So whenever you go live, you can actually start a watch party and the people who are subscribed to your page will get a notification whether they can click it and they can join in. So why not use all the, Facebook is constantly updating things that will, so users can get more benefits of it. So why won't you use the things that are given to uplift and bring your algorithm to life? So that's the different types of content that you can use. I also like sometimes to send, if I've done a really, really interactive go live, I jump on miniature, I copy the link and I say, you know, you need to watch this. Safa did a go live about you know, steps to success. You need to see it. People will click on it. I will boost my views from there. People will click on it, click on it. Even they clicked on it for two seconds. Um, people will be able to see it a lot more. It will boost your algorithm up as well and giving everyone more of an advantage to see you in action. And people will realize when you go live that, oh, that's that person that I've seen live before. She's dropping major value. I need to listen. So that's another way you can send your manager chat in lives. You can also send some posts in your live, in, in many chat, whatever the case may be. Just try and utilize all aspects of it. When you're replying to your leads, uh, sorry, your comments on the post, just make sure you're not replying after six days. The post had died. You've killed your post. So the first, the first probably 12 hours of your post are absolutely crucial to your algorithm. And let me tell you why. Because the first 12 hours, Facebook is doing something miraculously in the back office where it's kind of boosting your reach. If you're replying to your leads after 12 hours, the post is gone. It's dead. Gone. See you later. There's no point of you replying after 12 hours. Now, I understand you guys work. But... If you guys do work, but always try to reply, even if it's with an emoji, you're boosting that algorithm up. So if I, for example, congratulations guys, well done, absolutely amazing. I sent, I said thank you. I tagged her name, and um, you know, I started the conversation with her, and I gave some emojis. Facebook loves emojis. Facebook loves reactions. The more people react to your post, the more people are going to see it. So it's just a matter of fact of how you use your emojis. Make sure when you're replying to someone, or even if you're replying on someone's post, use an emoji. If you use an emoji, they're going to use an emoji back. They use emojis. They, they call emojis for a reason. So that's what you can do. Um, things. So make sure you don't reply too late. Um, interact with your followers in a sense where you're keeping them interactive. So if you're going live, and people ask you a question while you're live, answer that question. When you answer that question and you, you um, because Facebook loves lives, people are going to sit, they're going to show that to more people. Um, because Mark Zuckerberg makes lives, freaking loves it, 
your algorithm is going to be shot right up because you're interacting with your followers. That's what lives are all about. Um, and go lives always get more interaction because go lives are so important. And you know, Mark Zuckerberg understands that lives are so scary to do. Even if you do a live for one minute, your algorithm is going to keep rolling and keep continuing with the, you know, the, the successfulness of it. So when you're doing a live, even if it's for one minute, it doesn't matter. Even if you're crying, it doesn't matter. Facebook loves it. As long as your live is no longer than 15 minutes, you're going to get a lot of interaction of it. People are going to watch it in snippets. People are going to watch it later on, whatever the case may be. But if you have a message to come across, if you have a message to bring across, um, make sure your lives are no longer than 10 to 15 minutes. The, the faster you get your message out there across, the better for you it is. Um, when it, There's a reason why on Instagram, your lives come up, lives actually come up before photos is because lives are being rewarded. So why wouldn't you use that to your advantage? So I'm just going to go through and show you a couple um, posts that got a lot of engagement. As, I can, as you can see, it's fun, interactive. Which I, I just told our best to jump in the pool while on holidays, <clears throat> while doing live. Everyone loved it. We got some reactions. Again, we loved it. Everyone loved it. Everyone enjoyed it. I think people reached 798 and then we got 398 engagements. And then we got about 50 um, reactions and likes. Um, try to be funny. Try to use humor. Um, sometimes you just have to learn to be a monkey. Caption this photo. I interacted with the viewers and the followers to give a caption. When people are giving me a, cap a caption, not only am I telling them, oh, how amazing is your content? You're killing it, guys. You're inspirational. I'm getting them interacted with the story and the message. So I'm getting people to laugh. Again, another reaction. If more people are laughing and reacting to your post, that's what you want. Okay? Um, this was another one that did really well. Those who defy all the odds, turn a no to a yes, make something out of nothing, change their lives as well as others are among the 6% who achieve their goals. The reason why I use a statistic in there is because it's a small statistic, 6%. People be like, wait, I'm, a, I'm against it. I'm, I'm a part of the 6%. So people, it gets people interested. 12 months ago, my goals included to stop working in security, to stop working for myself, spending more time than I ever have with my family, to travel the world with my best friend, and to wake up in Bali. Your dreams are set by a desire to want more. Are your actions and attitudes following the plan, though? One thing is for sure, we didn't get here by eating Cheetos on the couch, wondering why the world's so cruel. We made our own lifestyle, and guess what? You can too, my friend. Another reaction. It, that one reached 876, and we got 185 engagements. Again, I didn't ask for seasoning on this, guys, so I just want to be able to show you guys how you can up, uplift your, um, your content. And then Abbas made a beautiful um, video about something that he's dropping value in. Again, videos and, and lives. We've got some variety, some consistency. It's along the same lines. We're adding value, bringing some uh, um, inspiration and calling people to action. Um, and then I made this the day before. Are you, you decide your own future. How long are you going to push away your dreams? Take advantage of all that life gives, life gives you. I do have something to say. If you're going to post up a video on your, on your page, make sure it's no longer than one to three minutes. One minute is better because Facebook is rewarding more people that make one minute videos because it's a lot more harder. It's like on Instagram. And guess what? If it, if it goes better, you can boost this and run that as an ad as well. And then you can make a cold audience warm. So that's what you can do as well. And then this one, we made a little bit of like jokes about parrots. I wrote it to you. There's a reason why parrots don't flock with pigeons. They are born to stand out from the crowd and amaze the world with their gracefulness and beauty. Oh, and make you deaf in one ear with their squawk. squawk. Have you ever heard of Mukul squawk, guys? It sounds like a pterodactyl. So that was really funny. Again, the photos and my posts are very congruent. You got to make sure that if I post a photo of a flower, I'm not talking about a lion. It just doesn't make sense. You've got to make sure that your posts and your photos are congruent in a way where people are going to resonate with it and they're going to remember your face. And then I found this really um, cool. I actually edited the photo. It actually There was actually a, um, a little sidewalk here and then I just extended the water to make it look like they're, they're swimming in just great deep blue. Um, 
And then this go live was absolutely killer. You have five seconds. Basically what we do is we talk about how your brain has five seconds to intervene before your brain, you have five seconds to intervene before your brain takes over to keep you in your comfort zone. That got a lot of reach. I actually didn't send it um, in a mini chat, but I got 498 views. And then it goes on and on and on. So I wanted to share with you guys why and how you can boost your algorithm to suit your page. Um, if your algorithm is very, you know, very low, that's completely fine. But what we want is what we aim to do is you need to be able to give a variety of different levels of value to bring other people to your page. I say this all the time, your content brings all the boys to the yard. So what kind of people are you bringing to your page? Your page is your journey. What kind of people are you bringing to your page to watch your journey? There are so many people that will come up to you and say, I remember you. I know who you are. I remember you because you said this. I remember you. You helped me do this. I remember because you say this. What kind of people are you bringing to your page? What kind of people are watching you through your content? Are you being authentic in your delivery of your page? We all have a style. All you need to do is you find your style to attract the level of people that you want on your page. So I hope I helped of how to boost your algorithm and help your algorithm. I want to show you guys why and how we're able to boost the level of algorithm that we have. I hope I helped you guys. If I did, comment below this um, on this video or reach out to me, Safa Alchami on Facebook or Abbas and Safa's Affiliate Marketing and I'll help you guys uh, further with algorithm boosting and everything like that. Much love, guys. Bye.